Hey guys, PJ back with Exotic Car Hacks and I am dying. Good God, it's hot. This is not okay. The, the type of pain and aggravation we go through to make YouTube videos. So there's a guy out there right now, you know he's mentally masturbating, like knowing in his life that he just wants a reason to hate and he can't find it. And deep inside, his heart is burning as hot as the sun. Yeah, you see, I always suck that philosophy anyways, but uh, we are here today with an actual reason and a purpose uh, to actually take a look at the Bentley GT. It is now finally done. Uh, Bentley GT Speed 2022. If you didn't watch the review, go back and check it out. This is the new rear wheel steering, 700 horsepower, crazy Bentley GT Speed built by Porsche in one of the highest configuration possible. The paint is called Cambrian Gray. It is like the Nardo for Bentley because obviously Bentley is now ran by Porsche. So it's now a quality product. This has every possible option with a sticker near $400,000 and it is striking. I mean, we saw the interior, I'll show it to you again, but this car now is fitted with a set of Anarchy wheels, these 10 spoke uh, two piece wheels that complement this car better than any other wheel I've ever seen. This is by far the hottest Bentley GT Speed ever built. So that I take, I give myself an award for that. It's almost like if you're that black guy that walks in a room and you just know you got the biggest one down there and you're just looking around like I give myself that award just because I'm here and I know there's only, you know, Asian men around me. So things are different, you know, like, you know that day, just like I know when I pull up in this, there's no one that's going to have a hotter version of this. Uh, carbon kit, a must if you buy one of these cars, black line package, which you get these uh, black optic stuff, all this chrome stuff turns black. It is 100% worth it on this color and the polished wheel for that extreme contrast with just a hint of polish here on the Speed logo, giving the car that perfect, perfect look uh, just finished, like just a contrast that finishes. We also lowered the car with some Ghost Motorsport links, brought it down and you can see here it's in sport mode so it settles down a little bit and looks really, really good. Like really, really good like this and it's still drivable, it's not slammed to the floor. Ride quality is perfect so it's really, really, a fantastic build. Now, I really love these builds for one simple reason. I've said this in my other videos, and I wanna show you this so you can see it. Stay over there so I can actually show you that from far. But take a look at it once the car is actually turned here. Look at how, how perfect this is. It's not tucked or anything, it's right at the edge. It, it creates this perfect balance of being able to still drive the car while still having a perfect work of art. You know, often people, when they modify cars, they sacrifice the drivability or the function of the car. This is a GT. It's supposed to go fast when you want it to. It's supposed to handle great because it's got a rear wheel steering. And more importantly, it's supposed to be comfortable when you're going fast, not supposed to be like a race car. And so if we slam it, if we do something to compromise that quality, then we're compromising the car. And that's not what we're trying to be, right? We're not trying to be the people that do that. That's not fun. You know, like it's like having a perfect set of titties and not using them. That's not fun. So again, I just want to show you guys this, give you a little bit of a uh, of a contrast here so you can really understand how the, the the car just came out just fucking mind blowing. So again, not much of a video here today, not much to say, but the car itself, you know, speaking, a lot of you guys have emailed me and asked uh, last time about, look at this, it's crazy. Look at this fucking interior, it's like nuts. And you can actually sit back there. There's actual room, I tried it. Uh, it you can actually sit small people back there. Uh, but what I was saying is, you know, Recently, you guys asked me, you said, what is gonna happen to the values on the Bentley GT? Are we going to see this car basically uh, going for much, much cheaper soon? So the majority of Bentley GTs are really 350 to 390, right? That's a really good dollar range. But we've seen that once they get used with two, 3,000 miles, they start to go down about 10%. Now, this is fantastic because back in the day, they used to go down 18, 20%. I've never seen yet a really hot spec 
going for less than MSRP yet, even on the used side of things. So I would say that I think for the next six months or so, we're gonna be safe, but we have seen a little bit of slowdown in the car market. And I think we're going to be expecting cars like this and the rolls to start softening up a little bit. There's no real reason these particular cars are completely safe to hack or to basically drive for free longer than six months. So as it stands right now, the Bentley GT Speed, the Rolls-Royce Ghost, so far have still held up okay, but I'm pretty sure that by the early 2023 range, we're going to start seeing these cars drop and therefore go back to the regular hacking schedule. Again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can learn how to get in and out of exotic cars without losing any money by just clicking the link in the description and learning what my new hacking methodology is that I introduced back in 2005 and that has literally become its own platform called Exotic Car Hacks since 2015. So click the link, join the 10,000 plus people that are hacking cars and getting their first exotics within their 90 days of joining. And more importantly, start to make good financial decisions around exotic car buying. This is really important, but look, cars like these are just breathtaking works of art that you can not only enjoy, but enjoy financially responsibly, which doesn't make any sense. Like this never was a thing except recently. So if you live in Europe, in the United States or in Canada, you need to use these strategies to get into cars like that. And now I'm just going to let you admire it. I'll catch you on the next video for Exotic Car Acts.